Hi, this is uh, an example on how to do forecasting in Excel. Um, in the first video, I showed you how to do the May forecast. Now we're going to do a uh, cumulative mean forecast. So that means the cumulative mean is a forecast in which we average all the prior um, information to create our forecast for the next period. So that means in period two, um, we only have one prior month, um, January in this case, and uh, there we just uh, use the value that uh, for the demand that was in January, so 120. In March, we are going to average demand in January and demand in February. In April, we're going to average the prior three periods and so on. So how do we start it? Basically, all it is, we're going to type in the formula. We'll say equals. That's how we start all formulas in Excel. Average. We just type in the word average. And we open the parentheses. And then we point our cursor one cell to the right and one cell up. And then we're going to close the parentheses. And really, the average function in this case was not necessary, but that's what we're doing for all of them. So we'll start it right here. Then in, in the next cell, we'll do exactly the same thing. We'll say average, open parentheses, and we will highlight the first two cells. And before we close the parentheses, I'm going to point my mouse to C2, which is the first cell. And I'm going to hit the F4 button, which will put two dollar signs in that cell reference. So what that does is it fixes that cell. So if we copy the formula, that C2 will always be, uh, remain C2. All the other cells are going to be flexible depending on which location the formula is in. And we click back to the end of the formula and we just close our parentheses and hit enter. So that gives us an average between 120 and 302, which is 112. The other thing we need to do here, and that's important for most forecasts, um, especially when we do take averages, we should always use the round function because we want to forecast whole units. So that means we'll type in round right in front of average. And we open the parentheses. So we round the following number. Then we go to the end of the formula. We hit comma. We round it to zero digits. And we close the parentheses. Now all we need to do is click on the bottom right corner of the cell so that our mouse basically turns it into that little plus sign, the little black plus sign, not that thick white one. We hold down our left mouse key, and then we drag the formula down all the way to the end. And that's how we created a forecast, a cumulative mean forecast for this demand. Let's just look real quick and see how well we're doing, just graphically. I'm going to highlight these three columns, go to Insert, Line, and I'm going to chart this. And we see what's happening here. Demand is going up and down, but the forecast remains fairly stable. And the longer we would carry this forward, the more stable it would be. That's the, the main effect of what we're achieving with a cumulative mean. It's a very stable forecast, and it approaches a uh, long-term average. So that was forecasting in Excel, and we just did a cumulative mean.